Time for more solar stuff. Wiring anyway. I can't find my regular strippers. <laughs> really? Is that my outside voice? <laughs> Today, we're running the wires from each of our three strings of solar panels. So this is, we're doing three strings of three solar panels each. And we're running them all right here. We're running wires to this location right here because we have our combiner box coming today. And this is cool waterproof one that'll go right here. And then some heavy wires will then feed down into inside the bus over here. That's what we're doing right now. Very exciting. If I can do Excellent. I'm really not doing a good job right now. <laughs> You're just getting warmed up. Yeah, first one. It's, too little it's like the, the practice pancake. I only had one cup of coffee. It's the practice pancake. Yep. First one out never works out quite right. Nope. Same with having kids. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> These are the clips for the solar, and they work with these here. These all go together so we can connect these together and they're just waterproof seals that nothing no water gets into this whole connection as it goes through there these things do just click into place so you kind of get one shot that's it Plug this into that cable behind you over there. I could do that, but I did not think it would have set my help. <laughs> I can see right now. Ah. It's hard to... <laughs> Is it supposed to click? Yes. Oh, I think I got it. I got it. All right, so put that down between those two coming in the middle here. Okay. Yeah, because it can zip tie in together with these right here. Yes. All right, that's good. So the negative sides are these ones, and the positive sides are these ones. So this right here goes in here and does click into place. Click, and then this comes in. Tightening it down, and it's cool. These things it glands because as you tighten it down, it it smushes this little thing together and makes it grab onto the wire. So now this will plug right into here and hopefully work. <laughs> However, this goes to the combiner box. This is our first negative, and that's awesome. <laughs> this is a really hard wire to strip. Plug this one into that one. together much easier. Awesome. So we have a negative one coming off of that one somewhere. We have one over here that's not hooked up. Oh, here it is. It was okay, behind yeah. the one that was hooked up. Oh, I definitely need some zip ties. Okay. Three total. Okay. This is one string. This is the back three solar panels right here. So I'm just going to zip tie them together so they... It won't work if I don't hook these up like these two as a circuit or won't work. And then this one and this one over here that we're building right now will be another circuit. So if you could plug this one in. Sure. Okay, got it. And then zip tie these. Zip tie it like so that they will be over there. Over here? Off the top of the deck. Yeah, off the over space. Okay. So make them as close to this panel as you can. Here? That's fine. Okay. And then zip tie it back there so that I don't want wires hanging over the open space is what I'm trying to say. Gotcha. Yep, dang it, without my glasses on. <laughs> I 
I'm hearing zipping, so I'm kind of giving away on that one. These are turning out to be a lot easier to make than I ever expected them to be. Really? Yeah, I just got into a rhythm. Okay, look, so I had to bend these these little tabs. You gotta pre-bend them a little bit. I don't have whatever the right tool is for this. But you bend one down a little bit, then you bend one the other way. Like that. And then I just use Wait, the hold very, up so I can see for a second. I use the very inside tool here to smash it into a circle. Which then leaves a little bit sticking out the side like that, but then I come back this direction and I just mash it all circly. And I just get this very good. If you put your tongue across this, you would know right away. <laughs> oh really? Very. What a surprise. Very. Man, it got warm out here. It actually feels good. Because we get to sit in the sun. I know, huh? This is one of those really good Arizona winter, winter days. days. Yeah. And then we got to do the inside rounds. Guess what? That means we have to drill a hole through the bus. Again? Another hole. Here Luckily, I have again. bags of glands to go to the outside cable glands. Which are really small cable tunnels. Yes. Waterproof. Waterproof tunnels. Caber cable tunnels. Caber, yes. caber tunnels. Yeah, whatever it takes, baby. You just keep trying. Keep I'm, trying to talk. I'm trying. doing okay so right here if you look down here this is how I'm doing the pass through for our air conditioner right now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to consolidate with this this is a four position cable gland right here and so I'm going to drill a hole through this and we're going to screw that onto there but we're going to goop it up a whole bunch right here with silicone or maybe even uh butyl tape or something so when this smashes down on there it creates a waterproof area for all our cables to pass through in one place but they'll all come through a gland right here making it uh, uh, waterproof right. yeah. so we're creating our own pass-through right now since that like completely useless store down the road uh, doesn't even know what a pass-through is and it's a freaking RV shop man it's so frustrating so we're going to go our own way. That's right. We don't need you! <laughs> Stupid store. Stupid store. So I go down inside and get ready to make a much larger hole in our skin of our bus. He didn't do anything over Freaking here. Freaking such a slacker. We let him stay here for a week. <laughs> How beautiful. He got the rest of this garage cleaner than it's ever been before. Can't even believe it. Walk over here. Forgot this corner. He threw everything over here. Just the <laughs> <laughs> You're such a mess. I know. You're in the Charlie Brown Peanuts cartoons, you're Pigpen. I am Pigpen. You just make a mess everywhere you go. I do. I admit it. Like the Destructor. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing you're a Constructor also. Yes. Or you'd be useless. Yeah. What are you going to be doing over here anyway? i got to cut a hole in the bottom of this box, but I want it to be a fairly decent hole. Oh, so you're going to see and see it? Yeah, well, sort of. I'm just going to manually see and see it, for lack of a better word.
That was an advanced move. I don't recommend that for amateurs. Very advanced. Not very smart. I'm about to have a little meltdown. Have you plum lost your patience with that? I think so. There. I feel like I should just let this stuff dry on here before I put the wires through it. Oh, probably not a bad idea. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's get this nuts stuff off my finger. Cool. Okay. So now, now we need to pass all the wires that we need to use through this gland. Some from the inside. Oh, it's Dave. Brown Santa's here. Hi, Brown Santa. You, you can't film me without my uniform on. Said, these are 50 inch sliders for the grill that's going to slide out from the inside. Of the Nice. <laughs> That's right, barbecue. This all sounds very complex. Oh, look at the camera! It just tilted back. I'm giving this one here like a little bit of a loop because this is Romex and it doesn't seal as well. I'm not really water worried about water going uphill and getting into this thing. I am worried about water dripping down the pipes and getting down in like this. Right. These are going to seal the round cable that we're using really well. This is not round. It's only kind of round. Oh. So I am going to seal it as best I can. And it'll seal pretty well, but not as well as the round cable will. So that's why we're doing this. And then we're going to go and protect this, all of this stuff with some very thick rubber from the sharp edges of the metal that we created when we made our fancy pass through, which is going to work amazing, by the way. Cool. I just consolidated all of our pass-throughs into one. Yeah, that's much better than what it was before. I think so, too. So this is the control cable for the air conditioner. Gland it up. Is that a word? What are you doing, Mike? Glanding? <laughs> well, I've got some really big glands that I'm working with today. This path is really like It's working way better than I thought it would. I thought it was going to be kind of hokey. It's not. Okay. Now the question is, did we have enough of this cable or not? Boy, it's not looking good. I don't know. This is such a heavy ass cable. Is it fighting you? No, uh, it is fighting me. Yes. Ah. I just don't know. Like, I gotta pull this tight, and I can't because I need somebody on the top to pull oh, it tight. Oh, I can do that. Can you? Okay. It's right down there. It's, just grab it. It's just underneath right there. You see it now? Oh, there it is. So stick, pull it up. That's good. Now stick it over the top. A little bit more. Pull like a eight. It. There you go, like that. Will you give me the screws out of there? Uh, out of this little bag. I need to do my rubberizing first. Is the drill up there? No. Okay, that's how I'm getting the drill. So the idea is to put this right here so that we can get the wires that are right here into it to the solar. Uh, the solar power it, to power it. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Just rambling. <laughs> well, we're done. Just I don't two. think so. I don't think we're quite ready done yet. Whoa, neat, yikes. Don't move. There, it wasn't actually <laughs> was it on right? No, it's just barely on there. <laughs> there. Okay. So now that's nice and solid. 
All right, we've got a conundrum because we don't have the power wires. We don't? I thought we got so many cables. And <coughs> well, we did. But we don't have the power wires necessary to... Um, run this to the battery. Oh, okay. I think we should go get those, like, wires like this size right here. I can give you a snip of it to take with you. We need, like, eight feet of it at Ace Hardware. Ten feet of it. That way, what I'm going to do to uh, move this along is I'm going to use the wires that are powering the uh, bus right now to do this and then we will hook up the other wires as soon as we get them. This will be cool because when I do this we can go off the grid except we won't be hooked up to this thing. So, oh see I already hooked it up wrong. Whoops. The negative comes into this one. I'm not going to smash this. This thing is all... Ow. This off. And you lop off the end of this. Off with your head. And you're going to take this wire with you to town. But this project will be a lot more interesting once... These are hooked up. It's really difficult working with heavy wire. Now that's powered. Now the question is, I don't think I can get this big honking wire into those holes. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of trim back on it. See this, this right here is bigger than the, the hole I think. This might fit, surprisingly. So what we're going to do is remove three strands. Yeah, it needs to be a little bit thinner. This is going to be a pain to get in there. It's so tight. I can't see. Any glasses? Can I use yours? Sure. Oh, it's gonna be a pain. And the giant butt. But it makes you look pretty while doing it. Yeah. With my fancy bead glasses. I look very pretty mm -hmm. today. You're so fancy. Mm -hmm. There. Yay! Okay. Filming the back of your shirt is boring. Rock the bus, don't rock the bus, baby. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, so what did you do? I you stuck all those. Wires. I took the other, the positive one of this, and I put it in the positive PV Up there. photovoltaic cell, the solar cell section. Make sure I put it in the right place, and I did. Okay, so now. And then you t you, there's a screw tightened down on it. Yes. So now I'm going to do the same with this side. Okay. Like fresh, it might just fit. But as soon as I mess up with it, by sticking it through and banging it against stuff. Oh! Oops. Damn it, no. What's wrong? Something's wrong. Solar panels are on. I thought I didn't. I turn them off. I turn them off again. Where from that box up there? Yeah. Oh. It is off. Okay, then something else is wrong. Let me measure real fast. Maybe red is on.
you figure it out? I did. The uh, green is dead, red is hot, which is the opposite of what I expected. Red you'd think was off and green right. would be on, right? So, so it's weird. okay. Now there will be no more sparks. And that's a good thing. Yeah. <gasps> No more sparks is always a good thing. Yeah, unless that's what you're going for, I guess. Let me share your glasses again. That's 4th of July, right? Working it close. Okay, let's just look to make sure my work is good. And my work looks like it's good. So now, oh, there's four wires over there. Four screws, I mean. No pro tip here. If your screwdriver isn't magnetic or the screws aren't magnetic, you just hold it like, never mind. <laughs> pro fail. <laughs> <laughs> well, that screw's gone. It probably went down in the door crack. That's right there. I love the cover, it's so cute. I know, this so is a art pretty, deco. pretty neat uh, little dude. Reminds me of an old fashioned movie theater. Okay. So now, assuming everything is done right, I can hook up the power again to it. It hey, should make beeping noises as we connect. Not electrical crying noises? We should hope not. Well, nothing happened. I would have expected something. To come on or something? Yes. Oh, tell Mike. Are you missing make that? a huge difference when I actually hook up power to it. For now, since I don't have a method of doing it any other way. Oh. Okay. There it is. Okay, we're going solar, 12 volt, 14.3. What is the date today? 12. Jason. Oh, I hit enter. I wasn't ready. The data is. I'm sure. I didn't know it was going to talk to you. 12. 19. So, stay right here. Scream loud noises of. If, uh, There's any sparks? Or smoke or anything. <laughs> right. Sounds like a hazardous job. I didn't ask for this job. Yikes, this is the moment of truth. Okay. We're all good. Nothing scary. Nothing bad happened. That's good. The status should be telling us a different story than it did a second ago. 61 volts in, and we're charging at 14 point. Eight. Battery's at 14.8. Turn that off. And now it's charging. So everything's working? Yes, it's charging that little tiny battery right there. But we are now off grid technically, except we're not powering anything. But we have one battery off grid capacity at this point. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we could do one thing. So it's using like two watts of power right now. I don't know, I'd have to read the directions again to tell you what all those numbers mean. But that's really cool that it's working, so. Yeah. Now, but we don't have anything hooked to our house right now. So the two large wires I used here and here to power off this battery. And it's really not important right now, but I'd like to get the wires, but um, because this battery is not designed for this kind of work. So uh, while we are completely off grid right now. It's just hard to take you serious with uh -huh. those beads dangling. Right. So what we could do, I could turn this back on. 
like that. This goes to a different set. We can turn this off. And now we're in actually inverter mode. So this now is running off that battery, which is being charged by the sun. So the reality of what's going on is this. see. Ready? That was from the sun. Nice. That was from the sun. So anything that works on 120 volts right now. Ooh. I heard it come on again after you used that. Are you ready for this? Oh yeah, we can do a big test. This is winter time. Are you going to turn on the heat pump? Oh, i got to switch it to internal. Oh. Okay, now we're on internal power. So, this is a real big test right here, really. Will it work? I just told it to cool this place down. Oh, you turned on the AC? Yeah. 188 watts drawn right now. 320 watts right now. 400. 500 watts. 500 watts it's drawing from the sun right now. This is going to get cold soon. Yep, there it goes. It's cold. The fact that the air conditioning worked in the winter time when the sun is at its lowest angle is testament to that our solar system is good. We just ran our air conditioning off a car battery about this big because the solar panels were powering the air conditioning directly from the sun mainly. That's awesome. <laughs> That's just awesome. <laughs> so, very, very good. Very important for uh, Ari surviving Arizona summers. Yeah, because in the summertime, like right now, the wintertime, the sun's like over there. It's, it's like noon and the sun's like over there. In the summertime, the sun's going to be there falling directly on the panels where they're going to be working at their most efficient. And it, uh, it worked perfectly, like no problem right now. It was blowing cold air. This is remarkable. This is really great. I'm excited about that. It's gonna be awesome.